All right, let's rest up. It's a shame I can't do anything with these corpses. Ah, oh, quas quasit. I think these things have uh, they drain your abilities. Yeah, but should be easy. Okay. Throw icicle. Even though he's re he resists the ice part, it's the physical part that's killing him. Charm's getting there. Haste still got a long way to go. Whoa, hello. Um Actually what I'm gonna do here to keep them from escaping and surrounding me, I'm actually gonna step in. Okay, now that keeps them from, like, I'll have to deal with them one at a time. And the priest is up front, which is good, because I can get rid of him right away. Because this is the most dangerous. I mean, this, um... This guy can be annoying, too. It's orc warriors. But, Icicle should take care of him. I was definitely killing his buddies behind him. Um, should I freeze him? Oh, he definitely hurts. Okay, now these guys should be pretty easy. Problem is, even though I have this, this whip, I'm not trained in maces and flails, so my chance to hit is pretty low. But I'm alright. So another glowing whip. I'll s no, no harm in seeing what it is. What about freezing? Um, it's definitely not not where I want to be, especially since all my spells are ice anyway. A uh, plus two whip of flame would probably be something I would keep on, and then only break out the holy whip when I come across undead. But it's not the case. More ice piece, man. These things are everywhere. And they're annoying for me because I only really throw icicle works. I really don't want to stand with him because he does way more damage than I'll do. So we'll get some mana. Try to throw icicle. That hurts. And I can't seem to outrun him. hits me again. If he hits me again, I'll probably be forced to blink away. Okay, that works. Okay. Let's read some of these scrolls. Scroll of Acquirement. Sweet. Wait, these are really rare, and you get to pick which uh, kind of item you want. Generally, you just you do armor. I mean, I, I guess because I mean I'm missing a lot of pieces of armor. Like I, I think all I have is a cloak and a and a robe. I could use gloves. I could use a hat, like a hat of see invisible or. Maybe just like a maybe like a robe, like a plus two robe of resist fires or something like that. Sif right, um, Moon is going to give me all the books I need, especially because I'm at four four pips with her, as you can see at the top right. Um, so she very soon she's going to start giving giving me books. Um, 
miscellaneous, not really, it's not really worth. So it's either, I'd say either like armor or a weapon. So and armor is just generally the safest bet. So you see I got, and it, I think it usually will give you stuff that you will want. Not always, but. So plus one pair, uh, see that's fine. See I didn't have any gloves, so I get plus one armor for the gloves. And then because it's, because it's plus one, I, it actually gives me two armor. And it gives me an extra little bit of dexterity, which never hurts. So, not amazing, but uh, definitely better than not having it at all. And look, there's our robe. A robe of anything is, is better than what we have. It could be a plus one robe. Hopefully it's like a plus one robe of resist something. Bam! Look at that. Plus two robe of fire resistance. So now, that's what I'm talking about. Damn, we got a lot of got some, got some good stuff going on here. Let's see. Uh, I do have resist poison with my staff if I ever need it. You can see what you have equipped by going to this screen by hitting Shift Five, or you can also hit um the uh, not not backslash but the key next to backslash. I forget, they're not parentheses. I forget what they're called. But the the one right next to backslash will show you exact only what you have equipped. So that's something else you can do. All right. So this guy, you don't want to ever stand at range with a centaur. So I'm going to shout, and that wakes him up. And I'm going to draw him to this corridor, and then get in melee range, and then blast him with throw icicle. Level 10. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, a Necros, Necrophage. These also drain your stats, I believe. Um, this will be... I think our Holy Whip will, will take care of him. Oh, he didn't even see me. Good. Oh. Give us time to regenerate. There's a Phantom. The holy whip should be enough. Let's um let's buff ourselves. I always forget to do this. It's always I should be doing this. So let's buff ourselves up. And with that, now we actually have I think um uh the armor spell, Uzukubu's armor is getting stronger because I'm leveling charms. I now have fourteen armor when I cast it, which is which is good for a mage actually. And I have the shroud now, so we should be good. Yeah, so he's not really hurting me at all. Actually, with this build, like, with this whip and this uh, this shield, I could pro and these uh, these charms, and I'll have haste. I could probably just start putting points into like maces and flails and be like a, be like a battle mage. To be honest with you, but I'm not going to do that. But I can actually see it being viable, just because of what the the spells that I have. I mean, between armor and then shroud, and then my plus two whip. I got my shield. I mean. I, could definitely do it. And then if I have haste, which will also increase my attack speed. Yeah, I'm starting to feel uh, starting to feel pretty powerful, but crawl has a a good way of taking that away from you as soon as you start to feel like that, so Let's get back to engorged. Okay. All right, so we should be coming up on the lair pretty soon. So eight through eleven is the lair, and we're heading to nine. So. Here's a wyvern. Big cobalt. We'll buff ourselves. I shouldn't be stepping too, and I should be making him come to me. Enchant armor. That's good. I will enchant our buckler. I honestly don't see myself taking off the buckler.
I'm actually going to keep using it on the buckler. Well, what was a, it's just a plus two buckler. I guess I can wait because, it, you know what? Nah. I'm not really 100% sure. I know a lot of people save their, at least from what I, what I watch, people save their enchant armors and enchant weapons for like a weapon that they actually want to enchant or obviously or a piece of armor. Um, but I know you can't enchant artifact or stuff so what I was thinking is that well what, what if I find like an artifact a buckler you know that gives me a bunch of stuff but well, then I can't chant it anyway so but I can find a better buckler technically because it could be an enchanted buckler like it could just be like a, a buckler of resist something and that would be better than the one I have but because I got this one it was already plus two you know I, re I really don't mind actually uh using these on it. Oh, never mind. I can't even enchant it. That was an uh, enchant weapon, wasn't it? Well, regardless. Let's see what else we got. Um, nothing there. Do I have any scrolls of identifies? I do. Let's identify this potion. Cure mutation. Let's put on this ring. Protection from fire. That's good. So now we actually are really resistant to fire, which is good. So there's a lot of fire enemies. Throw icicle. Dowin, Dowin, however you want to say it. So that means Duvesa is also around. Um, let's see what we got here. I guess we'll just. Oh, he confused me. What a dick. That's not good. Because now she's going to come in behind. Okay. Okay, that works. Get some mana back. Okay. Now he should be a cake. And another robe, okay. I doubt it's going to be better than a plus two robe of fire resistance, but we can always check. Okay, or it could be a plus two robe of magic resistance. Interesting. So, magic resistance is probably generally more useful to prevent, like, getting confused and getting uh, getting sent to the abyss, but I actually don't, I don't think one pip of magic resistance is all that effective. Like, you know, I think magic resistance gets better the more you have. Like, I mean, obviously, but, you know, if I have, like, three sources of magic resistance, I'd be more inclined to keep all three sources on than I would just to keep one source on. And I, and I definitely think that having two pips of resist fire is definitely better than having one pip of magic resistance. Definitely. Because having two pips of magic resistance, I mean fire resistance, really does reduce a lot of the damage you'll take from fire spells. Whereas one pip of magic resistance, you probably won't even notice really. Yeah, so we'll drop, let's drop our old room too. And we'll drop this. And we'll read this. A little scroll of teleport, this could be dangerous. Okay. Staff. Oh, that's another staff, not a wand. Sweet, be a staff of ice. Staff of air, damn it. Oh, let's see, let's just read it. Is 
So, increases air spells, decreases earth spells, insulates from electricity. Which is good, because actually, there's only one pip possible of resist electricity. So, one pip of resist electricity is maxed out. So, that's actually something to keep in mind, is that if we come across electricity enemies, we have that too. We have resist poison, and we have resist electricity now. I'm gonna drop this whip of freezing because I'm not gonna use it for sure. There's the lair. Oh, and a Komodo dragon. These things hit hard. Didn't want to do that. Okay. It's heavily wounded, so he's not gone. He's just around the corner. Yeah. Prince Ribbit. And a Null Sergeant. That sucks too. Alright, we're gonna get out of here. Get 20 mana magic and start blasting. Should never do that. If that was any other dangerous creature, I could have just died and not even realize it. Never just hold the walk button down. Um, I don't need any of these corpses. I'm already maxed out. Out of mana. Might be able to just melee him. Oh, bad, bad idea. See what our spells are looking like. We got 10 in charms. Haste is getting there, so we're at 47% on on haste. It's a really, it's just, it's so good to have. It really is. It'll just allow me to escape almost any situation. Prince Ribbit. This could be dangerous. Prince Ribbit can do a lot of damage, but looks like I do more. At least I thought it was. See if we can slow him down. Yep, we slowed him down. That didn't last very long. He's blinking all over the place. It's fine. Get as much mana as we can while he's blinking around. Okay. Oh, did not want to do that. Okay, this is now we're out of mana. This is bad. Can I confuse him? Easily resists. Okay, so we don't want to mess with that anymore. Um, go invisible. He disappeared. How does he disappear? Like he, it didn't say he blinked. It says he, he disappeared. What the hell does that mean? That's weird. I've never. I guess if he if he loses you, he just like vanishes. Weird. Better than dying though, so I'll take it. dangerous in melee range. It's when if you get caught out in an open area and he's, he's got a bow and you're far away that you're he'll just, yeah, 
Yeah. This is not good. Died so many times in this game to centaurs. Alright, so that floor wasn't too bad. I like to, you know, keep going until until I get uncomfortable. Oh, well, that was Prince Ribbit again. I'll stay right here, and maybe I'll try to fight him. You get him? Nope, he's trying to run away. There we go. 30%. Just for curiosity, I wonder what happens. So it's at 30%. I wonder what happens if I take my shield off. Take off J. Okay, yeah. So it's still only a 2% difference, and that is nothing. I am more the, the plus 7 to shield is way better than the 2%. So yeah, we're gonna ignore that getting there okay this guy we're gonna buff ourselves up shroud and armor we'll go to town so shroud fell off pretty quick that's okay though shroud should be pretty powerful with as much of a charm let's check it out actually it's not it's uh it's got a ways to go what kind of spell is it? It's a... Charms and translocations. So I guess I'd have to level translocations for it to get really powerful. Yeah, something, something is invisible. Yeah, now I'm confused. Back invisible. Confused again. this kobold demonologist I'm not sure what they do looks dangerous summon minor demon summon demon summon demons put is yeah that's not good summon demon demons are pretty uh pretty powerful so I'm gonna avoid that I really don't want to venture too far from these stairs either because in case I do come across something I want to I want to just be able to run so we'll try to stick around the stairs. At some point here, I'm <laughs> I really want to get the haste, and I'm really close. Uh, I want to get my survivability up, like get dodging up, get some fighting, get some shields. I don't really need that much shields though, but at least dodging and fighting. But I also need spell books too, so. Okay, this is dangerous. Um, so I'm gonna put on my staff of poison. Give me resist poison because these things have a tendency to to poison you pretty badly. Okay. There we go. What is this? A, a yak? Oh, is this three yaks and a zombie? Okay, centaur zombie at that. Way faster than I am. Cannot kill it. Okay. So we're going to keep running. So that got pretty pretty bad rather quickly. So on our way to the lair. Now this is usually where I die, typically. So we're gonna try to play it safe. Another staff. Man, staffs usually are not this common. Hopefully, it's one of these will be a staff of ice. That's what I really want.
see what the staff is. Aha, there it is. I think it makes me weak to fire, though. Or it reduces the power of fire spells. That's what it does, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. And if the wielder is skilled in evocations and ice magic, they can freeze those trucks. So it actually becomes a really, if you're actually skilled in that skull, it becomes a good weapon, actually. So this is going to be our new default, because increasing the power of all of our spells. I wonder if it shows up in the pips. So like right now, throw frost is at 5 pips. Throw icicle is too. So if I were to remove it by, say, putting this on go here and do this. See, so, yeah, so they both drop down to four pips. So yeah, it increases your power and it shows you. Alright. So R. So my spells are now more powerful. Which is good. So we're getting pretty close to being maxed out with Sif, so the spell book should be coming. Let's buff ourselves here. Okay. Oh, Spiny Frog. This is how I died in my last video, so we're going to see... Yeah, and guess what? They still hit hard. Okay, so that time I was able to kill him first. And I got poisoned. Let's run away a little bit. Okay, now this thing might be able to kill me. Let's see if I can confuse it. Okay, it's confused. Good. Go away. Now we can kill it. Level 11. Alright. Coming along. Yeah, I just need Sif to give me some, some... Yep, there it is. See? You ask and you shall receive. Literally, as soon as I said it. Okay, so... Book of Callings. Um... Summon, summons, um, summon Guardian Golem and Lightning Spires and K9 for my, yeah, none of these, I'm not really interested in any of these, so, thanks, but no thanks, if she will grant me my, ice, my more powerful ice spell, so there's not going to be any reason to branch out into anything else, like fire, like Ring of Flames, there's no reason for that. Haste is at 17%, so I need to get some spell casting now. Uh, I'm going to get charms of 13, and then get my spell casting up so I can actually memorize it. Whoa, okay. Lots of powerful things. See, I wish I had Freezing Cloud. Freezing Cloud, I could just annihilate everything. But, I don't. Okay, don't want to swing swing at them because these things hit hard. Let's buff ourselves. Go back down, come back up. Level 13. Alright, let's leave it there for now. Let's start going to spellcasting. So we can memorize our haste, and then we'll start getting our survivability up. So we got a good amount of resistances. We have double resist fire, resist cold. We have resist electricity and poison if we need it at any point.
Alright, so we gotta drop some stuff. We're gonna start our stash on this level as soon as we clear it anyway, so... Um... Actually, we can just do it right here. Well... So we don't need this. Yeah, I guess we could just start it here. Question is where? Um, so there's stairs. We'll do it by the entrance. So we'll come back to this stuff. Go over here. The lair is kind of like a middle ground for like a lot of places, which is why I why people put their stash here. And I was, I, you know, in earlier versions, they, you know, I was reading about it, and they used to um, lair two was like the general place you would put all your stuff. I'm not sure why. I think it's because. Uh, random enemies can still spawn and they could steal your stuff or like an ooze could spawn and oozes like to eat items on the ground but I've never had that problem on layer one and usually by the time I get to layer one I'm full so I usually just drop everything in layer one if I'm making a mistake or if you guys know any better let me know but it's worked so far well I guess not it hasn't worked because I never I haven't beat the game yet so Curari tip needles are really good. We never got a blowgun though. And we're probably not going to be using any of this stuff, so we'll drop this. Um, we'll make a wand pile. We'll do this, this, this. I really don't want the confusion wand. I sh I'm not going to need any of this food. I like to keep one stack of food just in case. Uh, let's see here. Let's read the scroll. Scroll of noise. Well, good. So everything should come running. Perfect. We'll drop scroll of amnesia, scroll of recharging, uh, enchant armor. Um, the rest is going to be useful. So we'll keep those. Oh, there's the spiny frog. Coming. Right, that's going to buff because this guy hits hard buff ourselves up and throw a sickle. Okay, so that did nothing. Let's do this. God damn it. These things are so annoying. <laughs> it's unreal. Alright, so let's do this. Let's try a wand of lightning. Yay. Where was I? Um, potion. Let's quaff this potion. See what it is. Restore abilities. Can I drop any of these? Um, I think I'll keep most of these. Well, I might not need... Well, yeah. I probably don't need flight, but I'll keep it. Especially because, like, usually, generally, you can use flight to cross water. Well, I could use it to cross lava. Because I was gonna say I can swim, so. And that's gonna come in serious, serious, hand, come in handy once I get to uh, if I have the shoals or the swamp or whatever, where it's a lot of water. And otherwise, it's a, it's a, it's kind of a task to navigate. But with being a merfolk, it'll be relatively easy. Um, so the books we can also drop. I think we're done with the Book of Frost and Callings. Uh, let's see. Haste, I still can't memorize. Uh, we'll come back for it once we get six spell levels. Well, so, yeah, so we'll be there soon. So let's drop it. Come, we'll come back. And we'll keep all of our staffs because they also act as protections. And that should be it. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, moving on. Do I have a cloak already? I do. 
Let's see if it's maybe a... I don't think it can be a plus one cloak now. Lots of rats actually hurting me. Hippogriff. Whoa, 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 this is bad, 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 bad. Let's eat this. Yeah, these things hit way too hard. If I just need, just need freezing cloud, that's all I need, and I'll be good to go. Good news is I'm faster than them, so I can pretty much draw one or two away, and then do it that way. So yeah, see this. Whoa, 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 what? Whoa! Holy shit! Cast our shroud. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage. All right, um, let's do. Let's do a potion of heal wounds. And let's wheel. Maybe the whip will do better for us. Yeah, not really. things are paying the ass. Okay. Spellcasting is the six. Uh, let's see, we got six spells left. So we got haste now, so if we survive these goddamn wolves. Wolves. Whatever. See this is bad. Okay, throw icicle doing work right there. Any more? Yep. All right. Memorize. Haste. Yes. Alright, I'm um, gonna leave spell, take spell casting off, and we're gonna get some dodging now. So we can start surviving a little bit in melee range. More sheep. This is like the, the sheep level. Okay, keep coming. Keep it coming. Yep, yep. Chop you up. Get engorged. Keep moving. God damn. Alright, some more. These are yaks. I feel like these are a little more dangerous. So layer one, and we survived. 
Potion of Degeneration. How about... Potion of Restore Abilities. How about that? Alright, so we're good. On to the next level. More of the sheep level. See if I can drag one at a time. Up. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't even see a spiny frog. Fuck. <laughs> 